Aloha Ohana, Pastor Limo Milani here. I'm so happy. I am so grateful, okay? You know one thing about God, yeah? He is so awesome that if you guys don't know already, trust me, you will get to know. You put your trust in Him, He will lead you and guide you through. No matter what it is you're going through, you give them to Him, the Lord is going to carry you through. The Lord is the one that can, is the way when there is no way. Amen. The Lord is your way when there is no way. God is good. Okay, so you guys know about the war and everything that's still going on in uh, with Ukraine and Russia and everything. Yeah, guys. Okay, so we can pray, 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 okay. Pray. That's all I'm going to tell you guys is just pray. Pray for them. Okay, pray. Pray for healing. Pray for comfort. Pray that whatever stay going on, not only there as a as the whole of the whole picture of what get going on, but individually pray for the children over there, yeah? Because the children are witnessing all of these chaotic things happening. Pray for comfort for their hearts. Pray that the Lord preserve them. Pray that the Lord, that we know, okay, whenever there's stuff like this going on, don't think that the Lord has abandoned, abandoned them or that the Lord is not there working. The Lord is working in the midst of all of that what get going on. The Lord is working. And the Lord is going to make the way when you put your trust and your faith in Him. He's going to make the way, lead you through and guide you. Okay? So, for us guys, we, we're not in the midst of that. But I'm going to tell you right now, I can feel Him. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Lord feel Him fully, see Him fully and completely and the what i'm gonna tell you right now with what's going on with this war the lord wants us to pray for one another amen pray and somehow be on blessing in any which way that you can to these people and your prayers is awesome okay don't underestimate you guys prayers okay because the lord hears us the lord sees us the lord feels everything of what we get going on inside of us and what's still going on around us okay so we want to pray for them and also don't, the Lord doesn't want you to carry this burden as in the pain that you're feeling when you're watching the news or don't be afraid. The Lord doesn't want you to be afraid. The Lord doesn't want you to hold on to this hurt. Honestly, it's good that you can that you feel something about it. Okay, Praise the Lord that you're not numb. Praise the Lord that you can feel. Okay, Because we, we share in our suffering. Okay, Because when one hurt, we all hurt. You know what I mean? When one down, we all feel down. We want to lift that one who's down. We want to lift them up. We want to elevate them. We want to edify one another. Love one another. Amen. Because that's what Jesus is all about. Jesus is all about love. Jesus is all about saving and transforming lives. Okay? Okay? So our prayers, we're going to lift them up to the Lord. We're going to cast our cares and our concerns, our anxieties, our worries, our doubt, our fear, our shame, and our everything. We're going to cast, cast them onto the Lord. Okay, so that way we can walk freely because there's freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. So we can walk freely with the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You make the way for us. Okay. So yesterday I seen where one of my friends and post some video of um, what get going on over there and had a little boy. He was crying. He was crying. He was so upset and he was sitting on the ground. And in the background, you could just see explosions and smoke and people running around and all this was, oh man, my heart was, my heart just went swell up and seeing that little boy, I knew already what he was feeling. He was feeling um, helpless. He was feeling hopeless. He was afraid. He wanted to do something, but he didn't know what to do. And um, he was crying and he like was sitting on the ground, he was crying and like he fell backwards and he was like literally like bumping his head on the ground because he, I know what that, I know that feeling that he felt because that's how I felt when I was growing up and I was in situations where I was witnessing things that I had no control over. I was only a little kid, what could I do, you know? Um, 
and my heart went swell up and I just started pouring out crying and then I was the Lord went take me out right into prayer and I was praying and I had my my hands lifted up and in my right hand I could feel pain in my hand I could feel pain not excruciating pain but I could feel pain and what the Lord let us do okay the Lord wants us to lift up that pain that we feel by whatever we witnessing or whatever is making us feel hopeless and helpless afraid and scared and terrified the Lord wants us to lift that pain up lift that burden up and cast them onto him yeah the Lord doesn't want us to hold on to it because if we hold on to him the thing will make us bitter and when we give them to the Lord, He the one will help us and He the one will heal us and make us better. Amen. And it's by His grace that we are able to lift it up to Him. It is by His love and His grace and His true peace that we're going to be able to persevere and push on. Even though no matter what get going on in this world today. Amen. So I'm going to tell you, Ohana, no matter what get going on, stay rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ for He is our foundation. Amen. Praise God. God bless you and your Ohana. And you guys go ahead and have a beautiful, blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen.